Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about uh, iOS 7. We're going to take a look at some, uh, some other things related to it, but the first thing we're going to look at is battery life. Uh, one of the things that uh, I noticed right away when I started using iOS 7 is that my battery started to drain faster uh, than it did uh, in iOS 6. And so uh, I set off trying to figure out what were some of the things that started to drain my battery and cause me some problems. So I thought I'd give you a list of different things that I discovered. Uh, your mileage may vary. You might want to tweak it. Uh, again, some of the things that you turn off means you might lose some features. So you have to kind of balance out whether you want those features or battery life. But at least this will give you a list of things to check and uh, you can try them out and see. Uh, I did some of these things and my battery life did get substantially better so uh, depending on which ones you want to do uh, this will hopefully help you uh, restore your battery life. So let's start by going into settings and uh, I'm just going to kind of start from the top here. The first thing is Notification Center. Uh, you may want to go into Notification Center and just turn off unnecessary notifications. Uh, depending on what you want in your Today View and all of that on your notification screen, you can enable or disable some of these things. You can also do so for your different applications as well. Uh, now, um, I didn't. Uh, I had disabled some of these things and then put them back in uh, because I was able to get the battery tuned to where I wanted it. Uh, but you might want to try some of these things if you're having a problem with your battery. Uh, the other thing is, is we can go into general here, and there's a whole bunch of different things in here that you could uh, take a look at. The first is if you just come to about up here, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you've got diagnostics and usage, and I just turn that off, not to send the uh, diagnostic data. Uh, that just uh, prevents one more sort of query uh, of sending that uh, information, so that's one thing that you can get rid of. Just click about and go back to general. Uh, the other thing is, is if you come down to accessibility here, uh, one of the things that is uh, kind of a nice eye candy on the iPhone is the parallax effect where your background moves and all of that. Uh, but that does take up a lot of battery life to do that. So there's a lot of cycles working to make that work. So you want to come down here to reduce motion and click on that and just turn that on. Uh, so that it will uh, it will reduce that motion effect on your interfaces and just kind of slow that down and that uh, helps with uh, battery because it uh, doesn't tax the processor as much to make that work. So that's one thing you can do there uh, in the accessibility area. Let's just come back. Uh, let's go back out to general. Uh, you've got background app refresh. Uh, and again, this is this uh, allows apps to refresh their content when you're on Wi-Fi or cellular. Uh, I could also use location services in the background. And so uh, you can turn all of them off if you want to with the big slider at the top. Uh, or you can just go through a piece at a time and turn off the ones that you don't want to refresh in the background. So that, you know, maybe when you go into them, uh, then they'll refresh. And so you can see the ones that you might want to target are the ones with the blue arrow because they're using location services uh, to pull information for you. Or you can turn them off completely. It's up to you. It depends on how you want to do that. So let's go back here. And uh, we'll uh, take a look at uh, one more thing. Let's go back to settings. Uh, so we also have wallpapers and brightness. And so here you can address the brightness slider uh, on your iPhone. That will uh, definitely help because the uh, brightness affects uh, the intensity on the screen there, which will also take up battery life. Uh, you also want to choose your wallpaper carefully, and that is you want to avoid the dynamic wallpaper if you're having battery problems. I turned this on right away, thought it was neat, you know, had all the motion in the background, uh, but quickly realized that it was taxing my battery. Uh, so I went away from the dynamic and just went with stills. And so I would recommend doing that if you're having battery issues because that will help your battery stay fresh longer uh, within that. So you want to definitely uh, adjust that. Uh, that. That made a difference right away when I made that adjustment. Okay, if you come down to privacy now, and I'm just kind of moving through these, uh, in location services, uh, you can turn off all your location services, or uh, if you want, you can turn them off individually. And uh, that location services uses the GPS uh, along with Wi-Fi hotspots to uh, be able to determine where you're at. Uh, some applications need that, but all of them don't. And so you can go through and turn off the ones that uh, that don't you don't feel need your lo uh, your location or need that information. Uh, you know, like maybe in the Apple Store, I don't need that, so I'll turn that off. And so the more of these that you turn off, or if you turn off the entire location services itself, again, you'll lose 
uh, some uh, access to services, so you might not want to do that. But if you just turn off individual ones, you know you don't need that. Uh, you don't need location data for uh, that. Will also help your battery uh, because again, it's not going to be going after the GPS as much. So that's something that you can uh, take a look at. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you've got this system services area down here. If you just click on that, uh, within the system services, uh, there's a few things that you can look at. Uh, I turned off di diagnostics and usage because uh, I didn't need that service. Uh, I also turned off location-based iAds uh, because I didn't need, uh, you know, I don't really care about that, so I turned that off. And then you can see there's a few other things that you might turn off if you don't really want the service. Uh, you can turn off, uh, you know, popular near me. Uh, if you don't need that, uh, you can turn off traffic if you don't use that within your application. Uh, you've also got uh, frequent locations down here. Uh, you can turn this off as well. Uh, the frequent location just keeps a history of where you've been and uh, kind of stores that history for you. And then that's information you can use in other applications and things. Uh, you could just turn that off as well if you're having battery issues. And that should, uh, that should also help because, again, it's constantly trying to track your location. So that's going to suck up battery life. Okay, so that's another thing uh, that you can do. Uh, let me just come back uh, here as well and back out of here and, and back in this area. And so uh, that's another thing that you can do. Also, if you scroll down to the bottom on advertising here, uh, I turned on this limit ad tracking so that it limited the amount of tracking that ads would do. So again, just kind of keeps the, the processes down and it's, it's information and things that I don't necessarily even want to give and I probably don't need either. So that's another thing you can do. So let's go out of privacy, back into settings. Uh, if you scroll down to iTunes and App Store, and you come in uh, in here, uh, you can also limit automatic downloads because these uh, these things will download in the background. So I've turned off music, apps, books. Uh, I did keep the app updates on uh, just because I like the idea of my apps automatically updating in the background. Uh, but what you could do is you could uh, turn off use cellular data, uh, and then that way it will only uh, back up. It only download those updates when you're uh, in Wi-Fi. Uh, which uh, which would probably help a little bit too with your battery. So that's just another thing that you can consider uh, to make that work for you. So let me just click. I'm going to come back out here to the main screen. Another thing you can do is if you just swipe up from the bottom uh, on your iPhone, and let me just do that, you'll get the control panel here. And uh, one of the things that I tried right away is I tried AirDrop. Uh, I tried, turned AirDrop on. Uh, let me say I want that for everyone. And so AirDrop was great. I was able to transfer some files to my wife, uh, you know, wirelessly. It was really neat. Uh, but then I forgot that I had turned it on. And so it was constantly seeking, uh, looking for other people to send things to. Uh, so one of the things you want to do is turn AirDrop off on here. But then once you do that, remember to turn Bluetooth off at the top as well. Because if you don't do that, Bluetooth stays on. And that too will use up battery. Uh, on here too, you can also adjust the brightness again uh, right from the control panel screen here. Uh, so that's another thing that you can do uh, to make that work. But again, uh, that's something you want to check. And then another thing you just want to check is if you if you double tap the home button and uh, you want to get rid of uh, get rid of different applications that uh, that you're not using and just swipe up and get rid of them and close them out uh, so that they're not taking up. Uh, you know they're not operating in the background. And so once you do that, everything's clean and you're and you're good to go. So that gives you uh, a bunch of different things that you can consider and take a look at uh, when you're looking at battery life. Like I said, your mileage may vary depending on what services you want to keep and ones you want to get rid of. Uh, but I found that in tweaking those different settings that did, like I said, help my battery life and brought it up pretty close to what it was prior to iOS 7. Again, because there's uh, other uh, things operating there, uh, it ha does use the battery a little bit more. Uh, but I ha had enough people kind of commenting on battery life that I thought I would just do this screen cast uh, to show you how I've handled it, and hopefully that'll help you do the same. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.